What's up, everybody? This is Matt from American Patriot News. Right next to me is Romeo. And this is our daily of uh, great news for Donald Trump. And this has to do with New Mexico. He won another, another court case where they're trying to take him off the ballot. Awesome. <laughs> Let's take a look. Alleged tax cheats effort to remove Trump from New Mexico ballot dismissed. A federal judge dismissed an effort to remove former President Donald Trump from the ballot in New Mexico because the plaintiff lacked standing to bring the case, though the plaintiff is reportedly appealing the ruling. Plaintiff uh, Anthony Castro, who The Hill reports, was indicted last week on 33 counts of uh, aiding the preparation of false tax returns had brought the case against Trump in New Mexico Secretary of State Maggie uh, Oliver. He has taken similar steps in other states in an effort to thwart Trump's 2024 White House bid. Castro, who is reportedly running for president, cited Section 3 of the 14th Amendment or the Insurrection Clause. In his complaint, according to Judge Matthew Garcia's order on Friday, of course, Trump has neither been charged with an insurrection nor sedition conspiracy in either of his federal cases. Garcia granted Trump's motion to dismiss the case and denied Castro's procedural challenges to Trump's original motion to dismiss. He also noted that Castro's case lacks standing under Article 3 of the U.S. Constitution because he does not have political competitor standing. To Trump. In an effort to establish a cognizable interest for purposes of Article 3, Castro invokes the theory of political competitor standing, which is the notion that a candidate or his political party has standing to challenge the inclusion of an alleged ineligible rival on the ballot, on the theory that doing so hurts the candidate's party or or party's own chances of prevailing in the election. For a plaintiff to demonstrate injury as a political competitor, they must show that they have a chance of prevailing in the election because the underlying injury is the potential loss of the election. He ruled that Castro's efforts, which include a claim of amassing $677 in campaign donations, hosting an online video show and making the ballot in several states, even when viewed in totality, did not suffice to confer political, com political competitor standing. Castro has put forth no allegations that suggest even prima facie he is genuinely competing with Trump for votes or contributions or that President Trump's inclusion on the ballot damages his chances of winning the nomination in New Mexico. He also notes that Castro is not accounted for in national polls and has offered no concrete proof of campaign operations within the state or contributions from New Mexico voters, nor has he presented evidence show, proving the location of the supporters that have watched his online show or follow him on social media. Ultimately, Garcia dubbed the complaint futile. He concluded, the case is dismissed without prejudice for lack of subject matter jurisdiction. All other pending motions, such as Castro's motion for issuance of summons, and his motion for ruling and notice of intent to file writ of mandamus, are terminated as moot. Castro will appeal the case. After the dismissal, Trump campaign spokesman Stephen Chung issued a statement via an emailed press release emphasizing that the 45th president remains undefeated against bogus 14th Amendment claims in federal court. Similar cases in over a dozen other states have now been dismissed as fair ruling courts have seen through the Democrat election interference schemes. Before accusing Democrats of trying to steal the election through legal initiatives to take him off the ballot. Throughout the country, allies of failed 
President crooked Joe Biden are attempting to steal the election for him and deprive the voters of their constitutional right to vote for the candidate of their choice. They are desperate and no crooked Joe is losing badly. President Trump looks forward to a free and fair election and winning back the presidency with the support of people with the pe support of the people of New Mexico and all states in November. I mean, he said it all right there to try and steal the election again. And uh, I, this this judge, he made a great court ruling. I mean, he's right. This guy has shown no evidence he's running for president, which he's not. He is a, a joining of the Democrat and Republican Party, the Uniparty, that's trying to actually get rid of Trump off that ballot because they want to put their own puppet in there. That's right. Castro is not a real con candidate. He's not a real competitor. And I, I mean, look, the guy is supported by Soros, the Koch brothers, by a bunch of dark, illicit money. And I'm so happy that all these lawsuits are just getting thrown out of court because they should. Um, this is another form of election interference, just like the, the article said. Um, Castro is no more a competitor to Trump in the presidential race than I am. Okay, he's just a guy. He's a tool picked by dark, dark, uh, illicit money on the left to execute law lawfare against President Trump and drain his tre you know, his war chest for running for president. This is all a, a huge just jerk off, basically. Take, you know, take money from Trump. Trump take time from Trump uh, in any way they can to make things more difficult for his legitimate run for president. Another thing I think we need to acknowledge as well is a lot of these judges don't want to get involved in the election because they're waiting for the Supreme Court to make their decision. And most of them have an idea of what they're going to decide on and that this is unconstitutional. You can't do it. But guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you would, please turn the notifications bell on just so you're aware when we make new content. We'll be live at 930 Central Standard Monday morning. Have a wonderful rest of your day.